What's going guys, Arab here, welcome back to a brand new video today on F1 2016 and a brand new trailer has just dropped today. It's a very tasty one, I've watched it through once and today now in this video we're going to be breaking down the trailer, giving my thoughts on it because, you know, even though I've tested the game in March and in the closed beta, this trailer really does bring the game into a new light. It looks like this is from a much more finished and kind of polished build, so it definitely looks like it's worth taking a look at and just giving my opinions on it. If you missed my earlier video today on F1, 20, uh, F1 2016 and the new features in in the game then go check that out annotation on screen right now big news for the new features of the game so do go check that out before you check out this one but let's break down the trailer here so i've got a, a bit of a screen capture here on sony vegas and we're just going to basically be going through scrubbing through the video and seeing what we can look at so let's start off the clip here we start off with a kind of shot of spa obviously uh, rouge and then we move to monaco now i just want to stop it here and just kind of obviously give my thoughts the time of day editor is in the game so obviously they're trying to you know show off the time of day editor the fact that you have a lower light condition it will make the game look a little bit different but also just looking here at monaco i feel like the buildings are a bit more high raised just looks a lot more i think a little bit that little bit more crisper than f1 2015 ever did and a good thing i think with the whole low light situation is that a lot of the times f1 2015 um the game felt very oversaturated sometimes like the colors just felt a little bit too fake almost like a bit too vibrant and it looks like now on this game at least from the trailer from what we can see on the final build that everything looks a lot more i would say just realistic a little bit a little bit more kind of less a little bit less toned down the colors everything just looks a little bit more grounded in in a sense there but we've just got some panning shots of different circuits so obviously Kota here looking pretty nice and then this is the first big one so obviously I've did a I did a video on this in the past on the paddock of F1 2016 and this is the first kind of proper high res shot we've seen of the actual uh, PR woman that I was talking about in the video I did previously on that so this is the woman that you're going to talk to in the game about your contract about how you're doing She's going to be the one that's kind of like you know busting you if you're not doing well enough. You know she's going to be like, she's going to be on you saying you know you need to do a lot better in your races or you're doing a great job if you are doing one. So you can see the kind of whole paddock area. We've got like engineers talking over there on the left hand side. You can see that we've got you know the whole like the kind of actual outside of the paddock, the kind of track. So that will actually change that scenery outside. You're seeing there on the left hand side will actually change according to the track you're at. So at Monaco you might see kind of more buildings because obviously you're there in the streets and then obviously if you're you know. Off Australia, you might see the lake or something like that, I don't know, and then obviously we're in the Toro Rosso team right now in the garage, so you can see uh, engineers talking in the background, and then you've got the woman handing you a uh, laptop or I think clipboard or something, I think it's a little card right here, so this is actually at the start of the game, we go back there, she hands you a card, so I think this must be straight from the start of the career mode, so from what I remember in March, when you go into the career mode, you start off, you open it up, and obviously you're greeted by her, and she gives you the card, and be like, you know, welcome, my name's so-and-so, welcome, I'll be your PR, PR manager, and so she hands you uh, your business card, basically. So we move on to the next clip now. We've got a nice shot of the Torosso. Nice up and close, looking nice. And then here, another interesting shot. And this is, again, what I also talked about in the paddock, is your R&D engineer. So that that was previously your PR manager. So she just does contracts and stuff. Uh, this is the guy you're going to be talking to about your R&D upgrades. And it looks like the face has changed a little bit from what I saw in the build. So I don't know if the face might actually change. The engineer's faces might change, actually, according to... To what team you're at because uh from what i remember um in march it was like an old dude like a bold guy so this guy's a little bit different to the one i played with um so it might change the faces might change from team to team which would be quite cool but you can see just a lovely amount of detail. I've never seen this shot, the panic shot, in this much detail. Um, you know, the builds I played were very, very early, so it looks awesome to see. Like, and also, as I mentioned, the scenery will change now. We're at Renault. You can see we're at a different circuit, maybe Monaco, actually, because you can see, like, the trucks are all parked up where the cars would come in, so it's all a bit more tightly compact, but looking really awesome, man. Really looking awesome. But this is the engineer, basically, that you'll get to talk to about your R&D upgrade. So, let's say you spend some R&D tokens on upgrades. He'll be the one to come over and say, okay so we you know we're, we're gonna do this upgrade in two weeks time in two races time or we're working on it and he'll also tell you about your performance against other teams so let's say you're driving well you're driving for Renault in this case and let's say you're kind of slacking against Sauber he'll be like you know Sauber have made some good upgrades we're lagging a bit behind it might be worth looking into some R&D soon so that's basically what his job's gonna do but it's looking very very nice right now so again that's kind of the intro part where he introduces you because he's shaking your hand and then we get some nice shots of the actual Renault car and it looks like in this trailer they've got the actual 2016 cars so so far um the trailers we've seen and the screenshots we've seen they've mostly been 2015 hybrid cars so 2015 cars pretty much with the 2016 liveries but it looks like now we're getting the actual 2016 cars and now as we go through just 
some really nice shots, some really nice high-race shots. That's Toto Wolf, obviously. You can see before that was um, Felipe Massa, obviously, getting ready. But just some really nice shots, I feel, just showing off how pretty the game looks. And then here we've got Pascal Verline in the manor. For the first time, we've seen the actual little glimpse of the actual new manor car, because in the, obviously in the screenshots, we only saw the old one. So Pascal looking at a tablet. Obviously, the tablet, that's nothing really new. That was from F1 2015. But again, you're going to be, you're going to have the tablet, you know, when you're there in the car for the menu. So, you know, your engineer will hand you the tablet. You'll be there. You'll look at the kind of setup and everything like that. So, but... Pascal Verlaine looking very actually quite a lifelike Pascal Verlaine there. I think they've done a bit I think they've done a much better job this year at making the drivers look a bit more realistic. And also obviously the engineers, because obviously here is uh Franz Tost of Toro Rosso looking very nice. And then we've got some engineering kind of engineers here on the right hand side, so they're discussing things. Rio Harianto there, Valtteri Bottas in the Williams, just some kind of cinematics of Fernando Alonso here, Nico Rosberg looking a lot better. I think if we go back to Alonso and Rosberg. I think they look a lot better than they did in F1 2015, to be honest. And then here is the really first big, interesting screenshot for you guys to kind of look at. So what we're looking at here is the grid lining up to their grid slot. Now, if you have missed the video I literally just made earlier today, go check that out and I'll explain everything. But this is the formation lap. This is the formation lap, finally. I talked about it in the other video, but this is the actual, what it sort of looks like, a little glimpse of it, a little, little kind of snippet of it. But basically, this is obviously the grid warm at the tyres. You can see Raikkonen's pulling off to the right-hand side for his grid slot to the Ferraris are 1-2. Uh, we haven't seen that this season, but there you go in the game. But uh, Vettel lining up for pole position, but you can see the cars are all kind of weaving around into the grids. So that's the kind of first look we're getting in the game about the formation lap. But uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I talked a bit more about how that actually all works. But then obviously they line up and they go off racing. Just wanted to pause it here. Also just confirmation once again that these cars are now fully the F1 2016 cars. You can see the 2016 nose on the Ferrari and it's obviously the 2016 kind of build around it. So good to see that, um, you know, with about a little bit more than a month to go till the game is out. They've, they've, you know, got a build ready where everything's kind of in the game in terms of the cars and everything for the trailer, which is pretty good. Would have been a little bit worrying if it was still 2015 hybrid cars. So good to see there. So the Ferrari's going off, Force India's going off. It all looks very nice. And then here's a kind of onboard shot of the Force India. This is obviously from the offset T-cam. What I'm picking out straight from this is the actual wheel on the Force India. Look at that. They've actually got the wheel from the actual season. Obviously, we know now Force India uh, in the real life season they're running this very weird looking kind of um you know um what do you call it like 3d printed wheel basically they 3d printed it earlier on in the season and it's like a more of a grayish kind of uh plastic kind of uh wheel on the front cover of, on the front facing cover of it and in the game looks like they have it so i was actually i was i wasn't actually gonna think they would i didn't think they would have it in the game i honestly thought they would have just gone with the generic force india wheel from before but they've actually uh kind of uh, you know bothered to actually go into that much detail and actually get that force india wheel let me know what you guys think of that offset t-cam obviously i'm not i I personally don't use the offset T-cam very much, so I'm not too fussed about it. But um, I think it looks pretty okay. They could have maybe moved it a little bit higher up, maybe a little bit, a little bit right, a little bit. It looks a little bit too kind of backwards, if you know what I mean, but um, I don't really use Offset too much, so I'm not too bothered about that. We then move on to this shot of the Sauber, and you can see the McLaren there. Now on this next shot with Jensen Button, and again, it's now the actual McLaren kind of um, new livery with the new car as well, on the nose and everything. Obviously, previous screenshots we saw were 2015. Looks very nice. And then we move on to this next part, which is a point I've not actually touched on personally in any of my videos yet, that um, you can actually see the guys reaching out with pit boards. The pit boards are now in the game, so if you're whizzing past the pit lane, you will actually see your engineers reach out, and, you, and it is actually readable. You can actually read the information on the pit board, so it might just be some kind of small kind of information about the number of laps, perhaps, or something like that. So obviously, maybe if you're doing a career mode without any kind of heads-up display, maybe you want to kind of go for that much realism or whatever, you can then rely on the pit board then to see how many laps you got left if you can't see on your wheel or anything like that. So you can see your position as well if you don't want to bother looking at your wheel. So you can actually see the guys reaching out, so there's a little confirmation there of the Red Bull mechanic reaching out you can also see it in the background there this shot really blurry but you can see it in the background there the kind of pit board going up and then the force india chasing and you can see for the first time the actual 2016 has in the game obviously we've seen some gameplay of the has from e3 but we've never seen an outboard shot and then we move on just to some panning shots of cars and i just think it all looks really nice personally i've never seen the game this high resed up i you know the build we played in march was very very early the closed beta we've played has not been fully high resed up i felt uh but this 
one is looking really nice. The trailer just makes the game look very, very nice and uh, makes it, for the first time I felt, like properly a little bit more towards that kind of current gen sort of graphics. And then there we can see Virtual Safety Car. Obviously, that's nothing new. We've known that for a few weeks now um, that Virtual Safety Car is in the game along with the Safety Car. If you missed any of those videos, you can go and click the annotation on the screen right now uh, on the top right on the cards. But here, just coming through panning shot, that's the Haas team doing a pit stop. So again, first time we've seen like an outboard shot of the Haas Formula 1 car. Then we've got uh, Sergio Perez making a pit stop here. Red Bull, just a load of pit stops, really. This one's quite nice, actually. Quite a nice uh, little look at the McLaren pit stop. Liking the look of the pit crew. Looking a bit more high res in terms of the kind of um, overalls they're wearing. Okay, so here's a nice one right now. So if we move on a little bit, we scrub along the video. You can see that now this is the first time you're going to get to see a bit of a damage model and the fact that wheel tethers are now in the game. So now that if your wheel breaks off, you know, in real life, they have the wheel tethers you know, to stop the wheel kind of flying off into the kind of, um, you know, the audience or just, you know, hit a marshal. It's very dangerous in real life Formula 1 and it's never been in the game so far. So usually when in F1 2015 something broke on the, the wheel or your wheel broke off, it just kind of flew everywhere and, you know, might have even hit your car. But now it will get tethered so it'll kind of, you can see it kind of gets wrapped around the top of the chassis. So kind of nice and they've kind of uh, tried to recreate, I guess, Verstappen's crash from 2015. But there you go, the wheel tether is in the game and he uh, kind of gets, you know, all wrapped around. And then here's a shot of the safety car. Um, a few cars kind of out of place weaving around. Obviously, if I men as I mentioned in previous videos on the actual safety car um, on the feature, you can now weave around actually behind the safety car. You're free to move around the safety car. And then we sort of just end with a cinematic shot of Sebastian Vettel. And then we cut to the end uh, slate, obviously. 19th August is the release date. We've known that for a while now. But yeah, guys, that's been my little breakdown of the trailer. I personally think a really nice trailer. I think they've done a good job with that trailer. In the past, I've been a bit critical about Codemasters trailers in the past, but I I think this one's a really nice one. Really does show off the game in a good light in terms of the actual way it looks. And also you get to see a little bit of a glimpse of the actual formation lap in action and things like the safety car. But obviously I made a video about that uh, earlier on in the day, literally a few minutes before this video would be uploaded about the formation lap and how it actually works and also some other interesting stuff like manual start. So go ahead and check out that again annotation on screen right now. That's been my little breakdown and my little opinion on the trailer. I thought it was worth it because this definitely, when I watched it for the first time, definitely looked like to me like like, uh, oh, okay, I haven't seen the game looking this good um, yet, you know, with my own eyes. So, looks very good. So, guys, if you have enjoyed that breakdown, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And uh, are you pumped for the game? Just uh, just give me an honest answer. Are you actually pumped for the game? Because I certainly am. Obviously, with the information I've known for a few months, I've been very, very pumped for the game. And I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it and play the new career mode with the R&D system. It's going to be absolutely epic. Like, I, I just, I really hope you guys are looking forward to it. Because it is going to be a game changer, F1 2016, in terms of the career mode and everything. But yeah, guys, I've been Aravay. If you're new around here, then do subscribe for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.